And maybe as you view that person, you realize the difference in the body from when you quit drinking to now, the weight loss, all of the differences that you've had since that period of time. So I'm gonna invite you, if you don't mind, to do a, a little meditation with me. And we're gonna turn down the lights just a little bit here. I'm gonna invite you to, <clears throat> and this is the meditation that changed my life. I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes if you're comfortable. If not, just gaze down a little bit. And maybe shake out any tension, roll your neck or your shoulders. And start doing some breathing, just slowly in and out. In and out, in and out, in and out. And that's good a normal breath. And I want you to envision that you're in a, a great forest with massive pine trees. And you're walking through it and it's safe and it's comfortable. And there's room between the pines and you can smell the scent in the air. And it's beautiful. And as you're walking, you come to the end of the forest and you see a black floor and black sky and everything around you, it's like a movie, is this black area. And you're a little intimidated, but you decide to take a step into it. And when you step into it, it's like it's water beneath you, but it's firm. Almost like electric magnets go out, like you dropped a pebble into the water and big circles go out into infinite space and you take another step and those circles go out into infinite space. And before you know it, the forest is gone and you're surrounded by nothing. And then as you're all alone, you feel a presence to your left and someone approaches you and the closer they get, the more you realize that it's you. And as this version of you approaches, you realize that it's the you that was drinking. It is you completely hung over. It's you after a bender. And you gaze upon yourself. And the first thing you notice is how red your eyes are, and how bad your skin is, and how messy your hair is because of the sleepless night that you had. And maybe as you view that person, you realize the difference in the body from when you quit drinking to now, the weight loss, the better, all of the differences that you've had since that period of time. And that prior version of you is a headache. And their stomach is messed up and they're exhausted and they might even smell. And as you look upon that person, that version of you starts to say something. And that version of you says to you, please, please, Never do this to us again, never. And you commit right there to that version of you that you will not do that to you, to your body or to your soul ever again. And that version slowly walks away. And you take solace in the decision that you've made. You feel good about who you are today. You have self love emanating throughout your body because you've made one of the biggest single choices of your life. And then on the right side, you sense another person coming. And as that person gets closer, you realize that it's the future version of you. This version is maybe a little brighter, maybe in a little better shape, maybe clearer skin, maybe just more comfortable or confident or soulfully strong. And as you gaze upon that future version of yourself, your best version, your great man or great woman, the person you were put on this earth to become, and you think, what do I have to do to become that person? What's left? What's next? Is there another addiction? Is there a step I need to take? Is it better nutrition? Is it more workouts? Is it repairing a relationship? And that version of you puts one hand on your left shoulder and one hand on your right shoulder and says two things. The first thing they say is, I'm proud of you. Thank you. And then they say, to become me, the next step you need to take is. 
and you fill in the blank. The next step you need to take is, and that version of you hugs you and walks off slowly. So I'm gonna ask you to slowly come back to the room. Don't open your eyes yet. Maybe it wiggles your fingers and toes. Roll out your neck again, and then slowly open your eyes.